Well, good morning and welcome this Wednesday to our daily prayers. It's good to have you with me. I don't know about you, but I've started reading a bit more. Um, and there's one or two Christian books I want to get into, but I've also just been reading a fiction paperback because it's given me something to do um, some of these hours I've got. So um, it was one I meant to read when I was on holiday uh, quite recently, but I didn't get around to it because when we got to the airport, I went and bought something else and read that instead. So this is giving me a chance to do something um, on an evening when I've got an hour spare. I wonder if you've maybe picked up a book and started to read it. Anyway, we now settle ourselves and still ourselves as we come into God's presence. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. The verse I'd like to share with you this morning comes from uh, the first chapter of John's Gospel. Um, we often hear this, of course, on Christmas at the carol service, um, but I'd like to pick out um, verse, verse 11, 12 and 13. Um, Jesus came to that which was his own, yet his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, nor a husband's will, but born of God. And I think the bit I like about it is that he gave me and you the right to become children of God that most special and privileged of positions to be a child of your father in heaven and it's something of yours and mine by right because Christ gave his life to open up the possibility of that new family that we can join. Heavenly Father thank you that through Jesus and his death for me I can become one of your children and that means secure in that position, a child, not a slave, not a hired hand, but one of your family. Thank you for that privilege. Thank you that you will never let go of me. A space now for our own prayers. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> 